This video was made possible by Skillshare. Learn for more than 25,000 classes for free for two months by signing up at skl.sh hii26. There are a few things that everybody hates. Bug bites, going to the dentist, watching videos that aren't made by HAI and other Wendover Productions associated entities, hand dryers, running out of things to put on a list, and of course, paying taxes. Of course, there are a lot of different opinions on taxes overall, but most seem to agree that they don't like paying taxes themselves, and nobody hates taxes more than corporations. That's why often, corporations store their money in tax havens, places with loose, generous tax laws that charge either very little or no taxes. Tax havens are like buying one get one free ice creams, except instead of buying an ice cream, you put all your money into an overseas bank account, and instead of getting a free ice cream, you don't pay taxes on your overseas money. So actually, I guess it's not like buy one get one free ice cream at all, and I should probably work on my metaphors. When you think of tax havens, you probably think of places like the Cayman Islands, which doesn't tax corporate or personal income, or Bermuda, which also doesn't tax corporate or personal income, but not many people think of Delaware, a small mid-Atlantic state with a population of 967,000 that's home to plenty of old historical artifacts like the Newcastle Courthouse or former Vice President Joe Biden. In fact, most people don't really think of Delaware much at all. It's only home to 0.3% of the US population. Sorry, Delaware, yeah, it's uh, Delawarriors, Delawalruses, people, people from Delaware. Yet, Delaware is the legal home to over 65% of all Fortune 500 companies and 80% of publicly traded US companies. In fact, Delaware is home to more companies than people. Now, this could either be because of the state's very respectable 1 to 138,000 IHOP to resident ratio or because of Delaware's extremely lax tax laws. First of all, in Delaware, companies don't have to pay corporate income tax on money that's made outside of the state, and income from interest and other investment isn't taxed either, but mainly, Delaware is so advantageous financially because of what's called the Delaware loophole, which takes advantage of the fact that Delaware doesn't tax what are called intangible assets. Intangible assets are things that exist and have value, but aren't physical objects like trademarks, copyrights, or my sense of humor. There may not be much physical evidence of these things, but I promise you they have value. So let's say, as a hypothetical, I start a corporation called Giraffe is Interesting. We sell giraffes, this is our logo, and our motto is, our expert staff will get you a giraffe super fast. So let's say that we have giraffe stores all across the country, in California, Pennsylvania, North Dakota, South Dakota, East Dakota, West Dakota, Northwest Dakota, North Northwest Dakota, East Northwest Dakota, and of course, Florida. Now let's say that my giraffe store in Pennsylvania is raking in money. Normally, all that money that store makes would be subject to Pennsylvania taxes, but instead, I create a subsidiary of Giraffe is Interesting that's located in Delaware, and I transfer some intangible assets to that subsidiary. So I give ownership of the name Giraffe is Interesting, our logo, and our motto to the Delaware subsidiary. Now, my store in Pennsylvania will pay my Delaware subsidiary a trademark fee to use the name and logo and slogan. So let's say that my Pennsylvania store sold $100,000 worth of giraffes, but they also paid $95,000 to my Delaware subsidiary for the rights to use the name Giraffe is Interesting and this awesome logo and that great motto. My Pennsylvania store can deduct the money they paid to my Delaware subsidiary from their income, so now they only have to pay Pennsylvania taxes on $5,000, not $100,000, and that $95,000 they paid to my my Delaware subsidiary doesn't get taxed at all because, again, in Delaware, they don't tax what's considered intangible property. Every year, the government loses out on about $9.5 billion because of the Delaware loophole. That's enough money to buy 392,000 giraffes or a few dozen US senators. So that's the Delaware loophole, and this is what brings us to what you've all been waiting for, the two-story building that's home to 15% of all US companies. Now, there are a lot of important addresses in the world. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, 10 Downing Street, 4 Privet Drive, 42 Wallaby Way, but perhaps the most exciting of them all is 1209 Orange Street, Wilmington, Delaware. Believe it or not, this shabby building is the legal address to over 285,000 companies. Why are they all in the same building? Because you have to have an address in the state for service of process. In other words, a place to get mail and legal documents if you're legally based there, but that law doesn't say that you have to have staff there. So a company, the CT Corporation, bought this building at 1209 Orange Street and said, hey companies, if you want, you can list this as your address and get your mail here and we'll deal with it so you don't have to. Therefore, 285,000 companies said, yep, cheerio, that sounds great, which is how we ended up with Apple, Google, Walmart, American Airlines, and Coca-Cola all in the same two-story office space that looks like the headquarters for an imaginary superhero called Boring Man, whose superpower is coloring things beige.
Now, let's say you want to pay fewer taxes. You could A, declare your body a temple, thereby qualifying it for the religious institution tax exemption, or B, learn how to properly identify business expenses. For option B, you could A, spend a captivating afternoon reading through the IRS's fantastic archive of documents, or B, spend an actually captivating 40 minutes taking this Skillshare course teaching you how to do exactly that. It could end up being the most profitable 40 minutes of your life. If you really want to round out your afternoon, I'd also recommend taking Thomas Frank's Productivity Masterclass, which can help make everything you do more efficient. If you want to learn new skills and better yourself, Skillshare is the place for you, especially given their enormous library of over 25,000 classes. If you sign up at skl.sh slash hai26, you will get two months of Skillshare for free, and then, after that, their annual pricing works out to less than $10 a month.